This is Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 7. They say, How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods. When I had fed them to the full, they then committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the harlots' houses. All right, before I continue, let me start out by giving all the glory and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakai Kwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, teaching, of course, where I learned this truth. Peace and salutation to the Lord Select, the house of David. All right. Let me get into this uh this lesson right quick, Lord, will be edifying. All right, um, before I show you the clip, I read the scripture because the scripture, I mean the clip I'm finna show you in particular, is gonna be dealing with uh these same individuals, you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, doing what you did back then. All right, still assembling yourselves by troops in the Harlem houses, all right. So I got a clip I'm finna show you right quick and um you know I'll come right back and we'll go from there. The clip is a bit lengthy, it's about nine minutes or so. All right, but it's, you know, it's worth the watch. And, um, you know, just stick through it if you can. And if not, just fast forward through it. And, uh, you know, I, I'll do my part. So let's go. So that's the first <clears throat> the first three minutes all right and you saw what you saw all right a bunch of lost in the sauce ass 
Israelites up in there, all right? Now, they don't go by Israelites. They go by Christians and whatever other uh, the domination they claim to be, but through heritage, you know, those are our people. And we see them in the lost state that they in, all right? You got the past up in there, you know, he... uh. He been sleeping with uh, one of the other women up in there, and he didn't got her pregnant and shit. All right, that's all that goes down up in there. A bunch of adulterers and adulteresses up in there. All right, and the Lord ain't dwelling in that place. All right, this Jeremiah four and twenty two for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sightless children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. All right, and this is why the Lord, y'all by some is going to kill two out of three of his people over here in this land. All right, because look at what they do. All right, they're packed up in their hoiler house. All right, they're filthy, abominable individuals. All right, you got fucking a whole bunch of women up in there. All right, different color hair. All right, you know, just uh, a bunch of loose lips. All right, the scripture tell you, um... A woman's supposed to be quiet when she in the church. Now, again, that's not a church. All right, that's a holy house. All right, but the scripture tell you when um the word of the Lord is being brought out, you know, the Lord established men over the congregation. All right, and you heard the, uh, the particular duty. Like, y'all can't vote me out. I'm the pastor. I'm the pastor. All right, you know what I mean? The Lord gave you wicked two-thirds over to wicked shepherds. All right, because the Lord chooses the pastors. All right, and he, and he ordains his pastors and prophets. All right. It's Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou came forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations, all right? But in the world that we in today, all right, and all these 501c3 ran operations, all right, you know, you got people who uh, choose their pastors and they vote and do all that different shit, all right? But at the end of the day, you know, a man of the Lord is a man of the Lord before he even come down on this earth, all right? But you see how these niggas is moving. All right, and this, let's go. Let's let it continue. I'm going to let it go. Let me play another three minutes and I'll come right back. All right. We'll keep.
told you the second part. All right, and as you can see, all right, they they call good old E. All right, the Edomites. All right, the Satyrians. All right, the modern day police. All right, to come in there and remove. All right, pass up out of there. <laughs> Just think about that. These Christians are so, all right, um, unhinged at what the dude quote unquote did. What Charlie did was get some pussy from another woman. All right, now if that woman had a husband, he off his he off his shit. But if that woman didn't have another man. All right, this shit, what did he do that was really wrong? All right, now, of course, we know the scriptures say the bishop is supposed to be the uh, the husband of one woman. Blase, blase, you know, we, we we know that. But Anyway, you see what went down up in there, all right? And they they didn't uh, <clears throat> call E up in there, all right? And you heard the woman at the beginning of the video, she's trying to talk, and he, he, he checked her ass. He said, woman, your ass ain't been up in here. What did he tell you? You only been up here one time, and... I don't know how long, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, you want to have an opinion about what goes on in here, all right? And that's why the scriptures say for you women to stay your ass at home, all right? This is 1 Corinthians 14 and 33. It says, For Yahweh Bashem Yahshapel was not the author of confusion, but of peace. What you just saw right there was complete confusion, all right? Uh, babies crying and shit, you know what I'm saying? Bitches all talking all over each other, all right? Wicked niggas, all right? It's just confusion, all right? So again, for Yahweh Shemel Shapel was not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. All right. Verse 34, let your women keep silence in the churches. All right. If that, if that was in play right there, and again, that wasn't no church. That was a holy house. But saying, uh, say them bitches was to be quiet. All right. You, 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 the men would have a better off. A uh, chance at you know what I'm saying solving what they're trying to solve, even though it's still confusion, and the Lord ain't fucking with none of that. It's all wickedness. But again, these women they make the shit worse. All right, they say let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them, unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame. For women to speak in the church, all right? If you told these unruly-ass witches of today this, all right, they would look at you like you had 20 fucking heads, all right? You know what I'm saying? You tell the average Christian woman, all right? You know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to be speaking in the church. You ain't supposed to be doing none of that. You're supposed to be your ass quiet, all right? They'll look at you like you like you are off, all right? But that's why, you know, the Lord is going to come back and kill two out of three of his people, and they... And they Gather themselves by uh, troops in them holy houses, all right? And this is what you get when they do that, all right? A bunch of adulterers and adulteresses, all right? Let me see uh, one second, y'all. Uh. All right, and not only that, you know, they, again, they call the slave patrol up in there, all right, to handle the past, all right? Just think about that. This is the man at whom, you know, y'all, they've been listening to and following for who knows how long, but now all of a sudden, all right, you know, they calling the... You know what I'm saying? The police to remove them up out of there, all right? Man, it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful time to be alive, to witness the downfall of not only Babylon the Great, but the downfall of two-thirds of our people because, shit, they got to go. All right, Jeremiah 23 and 1, Woe be to the pastor that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, saith the Lord. Yahweh Shemai was shy. Verse 2, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, power of Israel against the pastor that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings. Evil of your doings, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai. All right, and you understand, um, the scripture tell you, uh, the deceit and the deceiver of both his. All right, the scripture tell you, um, though these pastors. They 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 gonna have the, their congregation's blood on their hands as well as their own blood. All right, the Lord ain't sparing nobody all over there in a part of that madness. All right, nobody getting spared. All right, you know what I'm saying. The children that's a part of that shit, the women that's a part of that shit, that shit, the elderly that's a part of that shit. All right, you gonna get judged. All right, and the Lord ain't gonna show you no mercy because the Lord ain't in respect to persons. All right. So while they gather together in that in that in that holy house like that, there's no judgment gonna come. She every last one of them, all right? The time for them to get out of that thing and repent is now. But repentance is only given to the elect of Israel. And you can tell them same individuals that's in that holy house, they Israelites, and they'll look at you crazy than the motherfucking end, too. All right? Because the Lord don't want them, ultimately. 
two out of three of the Lord people he don't want. All right, he blinded them. He gave them up to this shit, all right? He direct their steps and they pass into, you know what I'm saying, go up in there and do all that shit that they doing, all right? And he gonna judge them. And it's gonna be that, all right? So let's let that last one play right quick and then, uh, you know, I'll close it out. Lord willing, it's been edifying to continue to be throughout. So you see how it ends, all right? All you niggas get put out the Harley house by the Edomites. All right, the same devils you called to put him out, put all you fuckers out, all right? And, and uh, yeah, how about Samara Shire is going to take it up a notch, all right? Because you just wait until the family of the word hit, all right? You know what I'm saying? You just wait until that family of the word hit when the, when the true men of the Lord ain't speaking no more, all right? All these fakes and phonies and shit, you people going to... Gonna, gonna wanna kill them. You gonna you gonna want their blood because you gonna realize they sold you a dream. All right. You gonna realize they bullshitted you around, took your money. All right, and they tell you shit good or nothing worth. You know what I'm saying? Pertaining to your salvation. All right. You know what I'm saying? It's uh Hosea four and six. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, because thou has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. That there shall be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. All right, so the Lord is gonna forget you niggas. All right, the same way you forgot him. All right, the same way you put your trust in men. The same way you put your trust in in Jesus. All right, and now y'all, yeah, how about me? I was shot. The Lord gonna forget you. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you know, you, you, we see these people. This 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, and look at what Jacob is doing. Two thirds of them, they still, still, all right, being wicked as shit. All right, still packed in them while they have to still worshiping wickedness. All right, and still, you know, waiting for the judgment to come. Little do they know. All right, 
But, you know, this was just some quick to the point. I seen them clips earlier. All right, I recorded them at work right now. All right, but I hadn't done no lesson today, and I wanted to get a video up. All right, and the spirit came on me to do something while I was here. All right, I had a little time to myself. All right, so, uh, you know, just wanted to speak a little bit, expose this wicked-ass society and the, and the doctrines of this wicked-ass society, Christianity being one of them. All right, and two-thirds of our people are taken and love that shit. And this is just them and they, uh... <clears throat> in their um in their uh form, all right, you know. So that's it, you know. All honor, glory, and praise go to Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakai Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, teaching the course where I learned this truth. Peace and salutations to the Lord select, Kwame Asherada, and the Bible Ball, Shalom, Makima. Any questions, comments, you know, just leave them in the comment section. Shalom.